In this video, we will be looking at geometry creation using the fundamental tools of ANSYS SpaceClaim. This video will serve to introduce and demonstrate the core tools of geometry manipulation within ANSYS SpaceClaim. The pull tool, which is used for extruding and removing geometry using two-dimensional faces, the move tool, which is used for reorienting objects, and the combine tool, which is used to both separate but also merge bodies. We will also show the three modes and how they are used. Sketch mode for creating two-dimensional sketches, section mode for examining the interiors of three-dimensional parts, and 3D mode where we can view and manipulate objects in three-dimensional space. To begin, we'll start by launching ANSYS SpaceClaim in the Windows Start menu. Once SpaceClaim loads, you will see the window shown here appear on your desktop screen. You will notice that it has several ribbons along the top, as well as various tool selections in each ribbon. We will begin in the Sketch tab by creating the general shape of the body of our car. To do this, we will select the Rectangle tool and choose the Sketching Plane. Now snap the cursor to the global origin. Hit the space bar, then enter 28 millimeters, then hit the tab key to enter 100 millimeters. The rectangle will be drawn with the appropriate dimensions. Hit the escape key to deselect the rectangle tool and select the return to 3D mode button to create the rectangle surface. Automatically, the pull tool will be enabled. I will select the surface and choose the Pull Both Sides option to extrude both sides of the rectangle for a total width of 28 millimeters. We will now return to Sketch Mode to create the tapered nose of the car. There are several ways to perform this task. We will be using the Blend tool. To start, create a sketching plane on the face of the rectangle. Then select the Circle tool. Sketch a circle with a diameter of 19.5 millimeters. As the geometry of the car gets built out, it is often a good idea to reorient objects to aid sketching or visualization. Here, I will use the Move tool to reorient the rectangle to the origin. Select the Anchor tool and the face, then select the Up to option and choose the origin. The face is now centered on the global origin. Next, we will move to the Design tab in order to create a plane. We will select the face that has the circle already drawn on it. Now we will use the Move tool to move this plane 100 millimeters from the face. To create the tip of our nose, return to Sketch Mode and select the plane. Select the Point tool and put a point at the center of this plane. Now move the point 4.2 millimeters in the negative y direction using the Move tool. Now select the Blend tool from the Design tab and select the circle as well as the newly created point. Click Complete to create the nose. Notice in the Structure tree under Design 1, we only have a single solid body. To make these bodies easier to shape, we will want to split them into individual objects. To do this, navigate to the Split Bodies tool in the Design tab. Select the Complete Body, then choose the Splitting Face. We see we now have two separated bodies. Next, we will create rounded corners to create a more aerodynamic shape. Select the Pull tool and select the desired edges of the rectangle and pull them to create rounds. We can do this multiple times to create a desired shape. We will now rejoin the two parts of the car. Again, using the Move tool, slide the tapered nose section back towards the origin 
10 millimeters. Next, use the Combine tool and the Merge option to join the two objects. The Combine tool can also be used to remove material from a body. Here, we have added the CO2 canister that will propel our car. We would like to have the exact shape of the canister cut out of our car. We can see the overlapping bodies indicated by the cross-hatched lines. To use the canister as a cutting object, first select the Combine tool. Next, select the object to be cut. Then, select the canister. A red and yellow box will appear. We can now select the cut regions to remove. When we move our mouse over the object, it turns pink, indicating if we select that body, it will be removed. We will select the region of the car that has just been cut by the canister to remove it. Using a combination of these tools and a little imagination, we can create custom geometries and add in sections such as the floor, wheels, and various aerodynamic surfaces.